So today's discussion, we're going to talk about controlling excessive hooking back ends. Uh, when you get that big back end and you can't control it. So there's really not a lot of options um, to speak of when you think about what you're trying to control. So you have surface and you have, let's talk about ball layout and ball characteristics. Okay, so let's talk about surface first. Balls are going to hook and whether they hook early or hook late, they're still going to give you a hook. So you can have two types of ball motions. You can have that one or you can have that one. They both hook the same amount, it's just a matter of where they hooked and what happened when they hooked. In the case of excessive back ends, this is bad. This, not so bad. How can you create the difference? Well, let's talk about surface only. The more surface you put on the ball, the more friction the ball has. The earlier, earlier it's going to want to read the lane pattern, and it'll be more mild down lane, period. Probably hook a little bit more, more mild down lane. Uh, putting polish on a ball to control the back end is death. It's going to make the ball come off the spot harder, make it more uncontrollable, and here's your move. I got it to the dry, it hooked too much, I moved my feet, I got it in the oil, I got a bucket. I went from the, the to, through the face to the bucket, through the face to the bucket. That's the wrong surface, period. <clears throat> if you put more surface on the ball, get you to the pocket and you flat 10. Move in a little bit, you might be good, pinch it too much, 2 8 10. These are all characteristics. I know you've seen them a million times. Everybody has. So your first move is put more surface on the ball. Get the ball to slow down. Second move, let's talk about ball layouts. If you're the kind of guy that likes, guy or girl, politically correct, that likes to keep the same surface, same uh, drill pattern on a ball, okay, then at that point, your drill pattern's the same. You gotta play with surface. If those two doesn't work, you know what it's time to do? Change the characteristics of the ball. Okay, so you might have a, a lower uh, RG, lower diff ball, again higher RG and diff or combination of both. The other thing you can look at is drill patterns that create less flare down lane and one of the ones that's a hot topic right now is the short pin. Or you can throw that other thing, I forget what they call it, uh, urethane I think they call it, I don't know, something you might never heard of. At any rate, um, <clears throat> throwing a short pin layout uh, is, is good for some and not good for others. If you don't have the rev rate or the ball speed to throw a short pin, it could be debt to you too because you're going to get the ball up in the dry and it's going to hook too much because of the short pin or the surface. So you move in a little bit and now you can't turn the corner. Now you're back in jail. So short pin on certain balls may work. Um, one of the things to be careful of is putting a short pin layout in a weaker symmetrical ball because you may not get flipped down the lane at all. Uh, you'll just get roll and lay there. So you got to be careful of that. Um, if you're not a rev enough player to throw a urethane ball, start fiddling with a short pin layout in different uh, type of balls. Maybe a little higher RG or a higher differential ball or intermediate diff, an asymmetrical ball. And that may be an opportunity for you. But you got to look at your options and the ball characteristic. There are enough balls on the market where you can put the same layout in four different balls. Change surfaces, that might get you there. Uh, put a different layout in, di in the same ball, that might get you there. Or use the uh, arsenal that we build for you as a company. We have balls with low diff, we have balls with high diff, uh, we have high RG balls, we have pearlized balls, we have solid balls. But again, Pick something that you think is going to work and then play with the surface. Surface first. Higher, more grit. We'll smooth it out and take away some of the back end reaction. Uh, and if that doesn't work, you start looking at different drill patterns. Yeah, okay, so one of the things we also have to look at, <coughs> excuse me, is the um, amateur versus the pro. Um, an amateur player looks at the lane side to side. He, he looks where the puddle is, looks where the dry boards are, throws it to the dry. A pro looks at the length, throw at the back. He wants the ball to come off the spot down lane a certain way. <clears throat> so his friction, again, he's looking down lane, and the amateurs are looking this way, side to side. 
The disadvantage of that is once you get it to the dry, if you get it to the dry too quick, you have too much hook to, or, or burn up too soon. If you get it to the dry too late, you're behind the head pin. When the pros look at a spot down lane to throw it to, they use the friction on that surface to get it to recover from the spot down lane. You know, if you look at the markers down lane, there's two sets of, of tracers down lane. Usually two boards outside the tracer is the ideal spot before it goes into the pocket. If you can get it to that spot, you're in good shape. If you can't, you've got to work on surface to get it to go further. We'll start looking at drill patterns. Any questions you have on this, tell us what you think about it, and we'll get back to you and try to answer all the questions we can get.